Preparing for coming into a classroom is like preparing for any other job. You know, if you've got your tools with you, and um, you know you've got some confidence that you can uh, do the work as you've defined the work, uh, there's no reason to uh, not be successful. And and it's like walking onto any other job site. If you if you go onto a job and you're not ready and you're trying to wing it and you don't know the stuff and you're going to do it off the cuff, you're going to fail. But if you prepare and if you know what you're doing, know what you're going to be doing, and you have clear goals established, then your chances of success are much, much higher. My name is Jeff Elkner. I'm a teacher here at the Arlington Career Center and Arlington Mill High School. And um, I've been teaching for 20 years, information technology, mathematics, computer science. I've learned how to teach math in a sort of abstract way and to do problems from textbooks and everything like that. But the real world connections, the reasons why we do math in the first place, often don't really make it into the curriculum the way they should. We tend to be kind of book focused and it's a lot of times students who are struggling in math are not engaged because they don't see those real world connections. So somebody who can bring that in, that real world connection, the why we're doing this in the first place, it's, it can be transformational. The instructor's purpose in my classroom is to help me implement the projects. Sometimes the students respond better to somebody from outside coming in and talking to them rather than you know the same old thing from their classroom teacher day after day. They also are a great technical resource where they know a lot more about boat building and carpentry than I do and so they can bring in different ways to do things or introduce different tools or just show how things are done in the real world. I'm making the boat. When we're in doing the math we have to like for this we have to um, make we have to find the center of stuff, and that means we have to find half of something. Um, we're asked with fractions, and we learn how to find half of fractions. I think it's better to learn it without actually trying to do something, because um, when it's just with paper, it's kind of boring, and it's more fun to like do it with the bones. The purpose of me being here, what, what I'm here to teach is math skills, uh, math enrichment. We generally have kids who don't understand math in the traditional sense and it doesn't quite click and we show a project-based way, uh, a way they can see and feel and touch that, that teaches math skills. Um, I also believe part of what I teach is, is their own independence, confidence in themselves, reminding them that they, they know what to do, you know, because um, they need that reminder and, and that just because they don't get it one way, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with them, you know? There's another way to do it, and it's okay. We're drilling the mass to hole into the mass step. Um, so Elliot here could put, no, don't drill. So he can put this in so his boom and his sail can fit into his boat. I cannot speak highly enough about having Anthony here in the seventh grade class, it is a world of difference. Just having someone else to collaborate with, um, you know, even just greet me in the morning, you know, talking with another professional that's actively engaged with the students. If one of us is struggling with this particular student, you know, Anthony will say, well, let's try this or um, let's try that. And it's just nice because if, a, if, if I have a difficult time explaining something or teaching something, Anthony teaches it a different way. Um, so students respond differently to each one of us and I think that's a huge benefit. That's probably the biggest benefit is just having another person there that's a different personality or teaches things differently. And it's really beneficial to the students. The culture of the classroom largely belongs to the teacher. But by coming in, I'm a variable in, in that classroom dynamic. So I get to be different, and I want to be a little bit different. I don't want to be just another teacher because I don't want them to treat me like just another teacher. I want them to treat me as an individual, as somebody different. Uh, and that's why I tell them to call me Joe. I explain that I'm, I'm here as a volunteer. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want them to waste their time, and I certainly don't want them to waste my time. When we first get together at the beginning of the year, when I get together with the, uh, the guest instructor, 
we usually go through the projects and we keep uh, probably a week or two ahead of the students. We go through the materials coming up, what do we need next, what are the next steps. Um, we talk about where the math is in the different steps of the projects and how we can implement it into the projects. Um, the guest instructors are usually really good at um, showing the creative ways that math can be implemented into the projects. Um, so they're, they're really helpful that way. It's been a continuous dialogue as we go through based on the needs of the kids, seeing what they really need because some kids are great at one thing and some are great at another and some are awful and it's just a matter of figuring out what what works and what doesn't and it's an evolving process because there's always going to be different kids at different levels. It's kind of nice because Anthony's you know in the class he's also behind the scenes he's gathering materials he's uh, talking with the other tech ed teacher at the other middle school. Um, I don't know that I really balance it any specific way I don't know that I could say you know we work on this or this or this but um, He's just a, when he is here, he's a great resource. Um, two days is great. Would I take three or four or even five? Absolutely. I think the best experience is, is when I'm working with a teacher who, in a way, we can complete each other's sentences without stepping on any big ideas. That we're really flowing in, in uh, hitting the important stuff that we got to hit that we can feel and we can know that these ideas that we're sharing and these really concrete skills and these high expectations that we have, that we're landing every single time. That comes out of building a relationship. It's not gonna happen right away, but if you stick with it, if you're committed, this is incredibly rewarding for you as a craftsman, as a tradesperson, as a professional. I think this works well because as far as what I've been involved with, the people who do it are very passionate about it and what, what they're doing. They're excited about it. The students are excited about it. Everyone involved, it's, it's an exciting thing. It's not like, oh, this is school. It's boring. Like, here's what we do. And the other part of it that works is not everybody learns the same way. There's not like one curriculum, one method of things that abs like everyone gets. And this presents traditional, well, not necessarily traditional, because we're doing the more traditional thing, actually. But new methods of learning uh, that are very functional and to the point, um, and it, it lets people take a different approach so they can actually get a chance to learn it in the way that suits them best. Over this time, I've, I've personally been challenged and pushed by my students um, and by my teacher partners and by the peers that I work with to really look hard at the approach and at the values that I'm trying to grow in myself. And the only way that I could do this is having been both the teacher and the coach. Being on both sides of the situation, it's helped me grow immensely. I like working on this because it's fun. Other classes you just learn and teach, sit at desk, but at least they do they, they do all the same thing. You learn and stuff, you write down problems, and plus building, and I like building things. It's not so much like, oh, remember this, remember that, quiz here, quiz that. It's like... I'm very hands-on learning, and I like that. Um, and it's just so much fun coming here. If I wanted to solve a problem, it kind of motivates me more to learn it and try to solve it so that I have a goal to finish my boat. When Mr. Couples doesn't know like all some of the stuff, Tony understands it and he'll um, explain it to the class. Or like if Mr. Couples is helping somebody else, um, um, Tony can help us. Folks who know how math is useful from the work that they do, and for me that means builders, folks who build stuff um, are just a tremendous resource for our communities. Uh, they're a tremendous resource for the kids in our schools, they're a tremendous resource for 
teachers who are trying to teach the kids who are in our schools. And uh, we need to figure out how to get that resource, our builders, working with our kids.